Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video on one of my solutions for storage for the truck shell. Um, a lot of you guys call it a canopy, a camper shell, a truck cover, whatever you want to call it, but I call it a, a truck shell. So um, if you're like me and you have multi-purpose use for your vehicle, uh, you can't always have this on here. So um, one of the things I've done is figured out how to cheaply um, store it in my garage up towards the ceiling out of the way. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So majority of the time it ends up looking like that storage space throw boxes up there whatever and if you guys notice when you're looking at it that that is actually a ready-made product that they have at Home Depot um, that if I remember right I'll have to look and make sure I'll probably try and put it in the description but I want to say it was around 200 bucks it was probably actually less than that um, the cool part about it is that when I was looking for all of the different ways on YouTube to do it. Everybody's creating their own pulley systems and everything, putting a boat winch on the wall. And it just seemed kind of like a lot of nonsense to, after you go through it all and price it all out, you're still gonna be like 150 bucks in ropes and pulleys and, and then you have to set it all up and measure everything out. And this was a lot easier to do. And then it's kind of twofold because you have that rack system right here that you can actually use for storage when you're not using it. But um, I just kind of throw crap out of the way and you'll see those two by fours in a minute on what I use for those and I actually take that rack system down. So I'll show you how I do it. So you saw how I have it all the time and then lowering it down. And I use the crank, which I normally don't actually. There's an attachment. Let's see if I can get it off and show you. Right here, this looks better. Right here, you can take it off and you can add a drill to your assembly. And I'll do that when I raise it back up and show you how much faster it is because that hand crank, as you saw, even sped up is really really slow so um, just the way it's geared but anyways I thought I'd give you a closer look at some other stuff and show you so the kit comes with um, this crimping style right here but they just have the loops so I added the beaners so I could do the quick release as you saw taken on and off the uh, platform as well as adding some eye bolts to make those easy to go on. Um, and then as you see here, it's just all four of these. And so I just need to line up. Um, you're probably asking, you know, what's with the tie downs? So this is just a safety. So I, uh, I put those up with another set of uh, two by fours up there, right into the ceiling joists as a secondary precaution because all the re reviews I read, that there was like, I don't know, like a thousand reviews on buying this product that people use for storage. And there is a weight restriction on it. Um, I think it's like 500 pounds, maybe 250 pounds. 250 pounds, that sounds more right. Again, check me on this. I'm, I'm not gonna look it up right now, but I'll try and have it in the description. Um, so I just wanted to have some safety precautions just in case, but I think those people that did it, um, they kind of did it wrong because they had some pictures and it looked like stuff was crisscrossed and anyway, so um, this setup works good, but just being precautious, I have that secondary setup as well. So I'll show you how it works together. All right. forget the size two different sizes but just figure it out 
that'll go a lot faster. Now you can totally do this with two people, but I'm usually by myself a lot and it's just me and my wife, so uh, I don't really want to make her bust her butt on this. Uh, depending on how heavy your shell is too, that can be a consideration. Mine's about 200 pounds, but um, I'm young enough, so I just work it out. And you'll see too, I actually did just a swivel box so I can make sure I'm always in the right spot. Because on mine I have little outcroppings for the clamps so you can make sure that you have something for your rail system because mine sweeps down under the channel. So I'll show you when I get it off. So these fit so it's not resting on the fiberglass itself. spot make sure it's the right direction pivoted the right way like that And just like that, you can see it's in the channels there. Double check. That's how it looks on the inside. Oops. And this guy, little off. I might have to trim that one. I've only ended up doing this like twice. I don't take my shell off a lot, but when I do, I do need it. So. A little fine tuning every now and then. All right, so we got it all clipped up. So you can see right there, good to go. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, as you saw me backing up, that it may rub, the cables may rub on the shell. But just to show you that it doesn't. If you can see, it doesn't rub on that side or on that side. So it just ends up being how long you do your boards and how wide your shell is. But like I said, it's a full-size truck, so even the big diesel stuff, they're about the same width. Um, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. And then as it goes up, it ends up being the perfect height as well. It doesn't stress out to the side on those cables. So I'll show you how it's done. Also, um, I just was switching out for the drill bit style so we can raise it a lot faster. It's kind of a pain in the butt because there's like... All these little nuts and bolts and stuff, and so I don't know. You don't want it too loose, so you don't lose them. But at the same time, you got to bring out a wrench and switch them back and forth. So I usually keep it on the drill. It does make it a little shorter. Um, so it's up to you on that. See, this is what I was talking about about being a little short. I'm five nine, so I'm not tremendously tall, but usually end up being a stool. Motorcycle stands work too.
There you go. Pretty easy. As you can see, clear off the bed. I'm able to walk under it. And then I can just hook those ratchet straps on. And then it's safe and secure. So that's how I do it. I'll put a link in the description on where you can get this. Like I said, at Home Depot, there's different varieties out there, but they had the best deal at the time. So see what you can find. And you can have yourself a quick, easy way to take on and off your shell. And it works for Jeeps and you know, basically anything. So hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos on the truck uh, with suspension and different upgrades I've done and where I take it. So thanks for watching.